What's up, Star Wars fans? We are back with the Tops Bounty Hunters uh, Hobby Box. These are the big ones. These are the ones with 24 in them. Uh, prices of these have gone down uh, by about 40 bucks a box, so that's pretty significant. I picked up two more. Um, so I am making headway and progress on all of these. I should have gotten a knife instead of this random hex thing. So we're just going to crack this open, get this going. Um, I know these aren't a popular set, but the interesting thing is I saw this as a nice challenge because since not a lot of people are, are getting it and there's plenty of numbered cards and parallels to hunt for, which makes this pretty sweet for me because I like to hunt and... I have a massive spreadsheet of all the parallels which you've seen and uh, those have only grown more and more. So the top cards are growing on me a little bit. I used to not really care about them at all. Um, but I am really excited to get the Galaxy Chrome Series 2 when that drops. I was supposed to get a case of it. Um, uh, like, I don't know, end of October sort of thing, but... Now that's been pushed back just a tad, so we will get that when that comes. So we're going to organize these by base one, two, and three, and we got blue parallels, and then we got our numbered cards, and then potentially any, um, I don't see any patch cards in here, because none of these look really thick, which tells us we have a good chance of getting a sketch card, um, or a good autograph card. I am hoping we get lucky with that. So, plenty of Bounty Hunter Feared Mercenary cards in here, so not thrilled about that. I'm going to start to put together a garbage box. Alright, so we have base one, base one, base one, base one blue parallel. Put these separately, then we have base two, base two, and then our Feared Mercenary. So, these are essentially like the super common, like hyper common. Like, I have so many complete sets of those Feared Mercenaries. For uh, Mando, it's not even funny. Like, it's just, I don't even know why they printed so many. Like, they had to have known if somebody was going to get more than one box, they're going to have multiple complete sets of these. Which is just crazy. Alright. Base one, base one, oh, base three. Good to have. Uh, base two, blue. And a fear of mercenary. And Django Fat. Uh, so I'm actually looking for base 3 blue parallels. Those are harder to come across. I have all the base 1, 2, 3 base and the blues for green and blue, but I don't have them for all for orange. Um, so it's helpful if I get any of those. I have all the Fear of Mercenaries, and I have multiple sets of a few of them. So uh, all of them, because there's Mando, Django, Aura Singh, Cad Bane, and Boba Fett. Right, so these are all base, but I am working on a second complete set for base, so I'm pretty close, just missing a few with those. We're just gonna power through these because most of this stuff I'm not expecting is gonna be that interesting to me, really, but base three, ooh, a purple, space slug, B274. Oh, I should have gotten the, uh, Let's check the list here. B274, we don't have it. That is a nice win. Let's put that in here. Okay, so I'll have to get a penny sleeve for that in a moment. I should have prepped myself with that accordingly. But luckily I keep them on standby. So the base two purple uh, cards are numbered to 75. So this is number 45 of 75. So that's a, that's a nice card to get. That's a good one. Keep that. Hoping to get at least four, if not five, numbered cards throughout this set. That seems to be like the typical pull rate. If we get three or less, that's under par, if you will, or less than desirable. I guess under par would be good. Uh, golf terms, right? Yeah, more. More Mandos. Most of these packs are too exciting. There's only a few that are quite delicious and enticing, if you will. Base one, base one, base one. Green parallel, base 
base two, base two, two Mandos. Ooh, I see a Cad Bane here card. There should be two Cad Bane cards roughly statistically because they're one out of 12 packs. So those are the, the rarest of the Feared Mercenary collection. So that's worth sleeving because those are always like three buck cards. The funny thing is I probably wouldn't have gotten the singles if I had just been more patient, but I'm not. So it is what it is. Oh, that's Aura and that's Boba. Okay, so I don't like that Aura Sing and Boba Fett, the colors are the same. Like, they could have picked another color. Like purple or something? Maybe that would have been... You already got purple. All the same colors makes no sense. Because Aura Sing cards are one out of eight, so we should hypothetically get, like, three of those in here, according to the statistics. More base one, base three. No base three blues yet. I want to see some of those. This is Boba. Boba's one out of five, I think. And Django Fett's one out of five, so I'll see the most of those. Of the middle tier for your mercenaries. More base one, base, ooh, a purple. Okay, I got a green, blue, base one, base one, feared Mando, and Aura. Uh, let's Let's check out this number. This is IG11 base one purple. So this is out of 99. This is number 36 out of 99. And this is B128. So we don't have it. Another great success. So yeah, as you can see, there's not many base threes and definitely not many base three blue parallels. That set in and of itself will take me a while to, to finish. I've just been fishing for more of the numbered parallels at the moment. And um, by the end of this, I'll tell you where we stand on those. More blue parallels, base one, base one, and another Cad Bane. So this statistically is our two here, this is C9. I'm trying to remember which ones I was missing. I think I was only missing two to complete a second Cad Bane Spirit of Mercenaries set. It should be nice to have another complete one. Um, I almost wonder, since there's only 10, it'd be cool to send to HGA and just get like a complete graded set, you know? Like, and just kind of have something different. All right, there's a base three. Oh, we got a. B218, this is out of 99, so a base two numbered card. Let's check, well, let me get the sleeve on this. This is number 65 out of 99. Let's put that here. Uh, B218, uh, green. We don't have it, so that's also another win. Awesome. All right, let's put that down. That's delicious sauce of cards right there. All right, so many wrappers, so little time. All right, there's no way after one of these we don't have. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, what's this? Julie Dolan as Princess Leia Organa. And I think if you remember one of our previous polls, we pulled her, but a numbered version. Let's put these away. Let's see, this is base two, base two. Feared Mercenaries. Um, so it's not numbered, but can't hurt to have another autograph. So um, that's one of our big hits out of here. I'm hoping the other one's a sketch or cool auto, but um, yes. It'd have been nice to have a different colored one of there. Alright. Let's find these. Pull the next pack. We're just blowing through these. Uh, this is, this is one of the more, like, I haven't been this excited to, like, 
hunt for stuff in a while because I've been buying singles as well. I recently, I think I picked up some, when did I get some bulk boxes of some stuff? So I'm gonna drop a video of discovering what's in a bulk box. Uh, a mystery box or whatever. We don't know what's in there. Could be good or could be crap. I don't know, but I'm hoping there's a bunch of numbered stuff in there. I'm always keeping an eye out for that kind of stuff because hunting through a box of somebody else's unknown treasures can also be a lot of fun too. Base two, base two, feared mercs, and this is an Aura Sing card. All right, still got a few packs here to go. We got our two Cad Banes. We have three numbered cards and an auto. Not the best auto, not the worst auto. Definitely seen more people vent about it. Ooh, here we go. Mithril Blue Parallel. Okay, that's our first base three blue parallel. So you can see they're not very common. Uh, Boba Fett's. Uh, Moving and grooving, friends. Alright. Max Rebo. Tasu Leech. Robino. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. We got a congratulations card here. Let's let's start in the back here. Captain Rex. Mandalorian. Ten. Fennec Shand, Cy Snoodles, and ooh, D. Bradley Baker as Captain Rex out of 50. So 15 out of 50. Cool card. I like Captain Rex, so this is this is a cool auto to have. He's a very popular character from Clone Wars and Rebels and all the stuff that's coming out animated. Uh, very cool. And this will be another one I'll probably um, turn into like a custom slab through HGA if I haven't already. But uh, yeah, that's cool. I think you remember I submitted a four lawman. The funny thing is I think I dropped the reveal video before I actually showed the, the opening of it. And that's just because HGA was so fast and I have some of these videos scheduled out um, just to kind of space out the fun, you know? Can't do all this stuff at once. Ooh, we have another numbered card. Uh, let's put that aside for the moment. Let's put these here, here, here. All right, so this is a base one green parallel. So these are out of 150. So these are pretty common and I have a lot of them. Uh, this is B168, which I don't have miraculously. So that's great news. Um, so we have our four numbered cards so far and a numbered auto, another auto, and our two Cad Bane cards. And we still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs to open here. So that's good. Very good news. Okay, we got our base ones. Base one blue, a frog lady, so random. Super freaking random. More Mando, feared mercenaries, essentially junk. Um, I am listing them on sale for right now for like, what, six bucks or something? Um, so, if you want some, you're welcome to grab them. They're, they're way less than buying one of these boxes, I'll tell you that. All right, got this, this, this. Um, and Boba Fett. Yeah, I'm kind of open to the idea of like, I mean, if I really like the cards, I think I'd rather just buy complete, you know, base sets. And if I really like them, then maybe I'll get like, you know, complete parallel sets if somebody's done the legwork for them. Um, cause then you have it. Like I like having it, but I, you know, there's no hunt associated with it, but there's something kind of cool with just, you know, owning it outright. Um, I've kind of gone off the deep end with the Stranger Things stuff. I, I gotta find another box to open. They're just pretty expensive. I'd love to pick up that case of season two. Um, you know, I'd have to drop at least three grand to get 12 of those. So that's kind of like insane. 
Uh, ooh, there's a base two blue parallel, although we have them all, they're not as common. All right, and Django, we got our last three packs here. Probably anything that magical, but you never know. Never know. Let's see, base one, base one, base one, base one, blue, base two, base two, Beard Mercenary, and Aura Sing. Should have another complete Aura Sing set by now, I would imagine. Coming to the end of this. I'm just so excited that these hobby boxes have come down in price. All right, we got a base three. Ooh, a base three green. That's very good, because that's going to be out of 50. All right, base two, Mando and Boba. All right, let's sleeve that bad boy. The base three color parallels are, so this is number three out of 50. Uh, B377, we don't have, so. Very awesome on that. So we got five color parallels. This one's probably a junk pack. Um, I'm just gonna call it right now. There's gonna be absolutely nothing good in here. Just junk. We already know where this is going. All right, base one, base one, base one, base one, blue, base two, base two, feared mercenaries. And I called it, it was junk. I always put that, that last pack is always crap pack. <laughs> I should probably just save them and sell them as is, but. Nah, what the hell. Okay, so quick recap here. We have our Boba Fetts, our Aura Sings, our Jingos. Might have enough for another set. We'll definitely have another complete one, if not two sets of Mando. We got two Bane cards, which is great. A lot of base one stuff, as you can see, is everywhere. Um, hopefully this is enough to complete a second base set because I was only missing a few and then maybe we can get some more to complete another base two set as well. Um, we only got one base three blue parallel, so that was interesting. A good amount of base threes, um, but I believe I have all those. So the real wins, uh, definitely this mithril blue parallel is good. Um, the Reiko Hardeen out of 50. The Pelimoto at a 150, the Han Solo at a 99, this IG-11 out of 99, and this Space Slug out of 75, all great. And I'm quite happy with the Rex, D. Bradley Baker as Rex, Captain Rex, because that's cool, and that's out of 50. And then Julie Dolan as Princess Leia Organa, now we have like a different one, so... I have a lot of interesting, I come across a lot of Leia stuff, and that's with Star Wars CCG and, like, the graded stuff. I'm almost tempted to just collect a whole bunch of Leia stuff, because I have it. So I'm like, might as well just, you know, keep exploring that a little bit, um, see where that goes. So otherwise, uh, let's find out where we recap on our, on our base one green parallels. We have 57 out of 100. Base one purple, we have uh, 29. Base one... Red, we have 23. Base 2 green, we have 41. Base 2 purple, we have 24. Base 2 uh, red, we have 13. Base 3 green, we have 23. Base 3 purple, we have 8. And base 3 red, the rarest of them all, out of 25, we have 13 of those. Uh, so overall, um, loving this journey so far let me know what you think which were these autos good or was this crap let me know in the comments otherwise check in the next video